All right, so kind of wanted to do a bit of a follow-up video to my last one uh, regarding the AutoSquare firmware. Um, so in my case, I have the AutoSquare firmware set up and whatnot, but if you are using GSender as your uh, machine control, there is a auto, not an auto square, but there is a uh, square calibration feature. Again, this will work on any machine that GSender talks to, uh, but if you go open GSender and go to calibrate, and in the calibrate, you go XY squaring, it'll show you a diagram of what we're basically going to do. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to draw a big triangle. And what that allows us to do is take some measurements and confirm if our machine is square. Uh, it also is a good way to double check your um, steps per millimeter, make sure that the machine is moving as far as you think it's moving. Um, when you tell it to move 100 mils, is it moving 100 mils? So I'm going to jog the machine over here. And I've just got a, a piece of MDF with some painter's tape on it. Um, and I've, I'm going to use my Genmitsu pen plotter. I did a, a little video on this not too long ago. Um, it's actually a pretty, pretty handy tool. In this case, because um, what we're doing is essentially going to draw, mark, and measure a few points, I thought that the pen would be a great way to do this. Uh, so I've got the tape lined up, and I'm just going to bring my, there we go, get that kind of set up, and bring the pen down to get it ready to draw a line. So the cool thing about the Genmitsu um, pen plotter, just for a second, is it's, you can see it's not crushing um, the pen. There's a couple springs in there that allow the body uh, to the pen to raise up and down. Um, so if you have uneven stock and things like that, it, it just keeps your pen from doing bad things. So in this case, I'm just going to move it over a little bit, make sure it's drawing, move it back. So I get a nice crisp start point. So I'm going to click the ready to start button and it's gonna tell me to mark position one. In this case, because I'm using a pen plotter, I have my position one marked, um, so I'm good there. If you were using your spindle, uh, you would use like a sharp bit, like a um, B bit or a ball nose bit, and mark that first point with a, pence, a pencil or a pen. So I'm gonna mark that as complete. Uh, it's gonna ask me to move the X axis. I'm actually gonna move my X 300 mils. The default is 100. The reason for that is just 300 mils gives me more um, potential error. If I move 300 mils um, and I'm out, I'll, I'll see that uh, greater at 300 mils than 100 mils. So I'm gonna say move my X axis 300 mils. And you can see we're drawing our nice line. And from there, it's gonna make me mark that point, which again, I did and it's gonna ask me to move in the Y direction. So in this case, I'm gonna move 400 mils. And I'll show you that in a second as to why. Um, so if I move 400 mils, it's gonna move the machine back. So again, I've got that nice crisp line. Perfect, it's gonna tell me to mark that point. Again, I'm using the pen plotter, so I'm good there. I'm gonna complete that and click next. So now I'm going to ask us to um, measure the, the various points. So I'm going to use the jog controls to bring the x-axis up and just move that out of the way. So with that complete, I'll do this and go back to the wizard. So the wizard's asking how far did this draw? So I'm going to go um, to that first point where the pen was and I'm just, to make life easier, I'm using one of the markings on here. So we move 300 and that is exactly what we got. 300 mils right to the end. So that, this is good. I don't have to adjust anything. So I will put in 300 millimeters, um, complete that. Take and measure the other direction here. And that is right on 400 mils. So that's what I wanted. So I will input that. So my machine moved 
300 mils in X, 400 mils in Y. I complete that. Now it's going to ask me to measure between the two points. So this is the actual part that's confirming if it's a square. So when I measure this, what I'm looking for is because I moved it in, in woodworking and lots of things, there's the 3, 4, 5 rule. So if you move 3, then move 4, then you measure between 3 and 4. If you get 5, you've made a square. And lining right up on those points. So again, I moved 300 mils, 400 mils, and now my diagonal is measured exactly 500 mils. So when I enter 500 mils, and I say complete, and I go to the next step, it's going to tell me that, look at that, I am perfectly square. No adjustments are needed. Uh, so that's awesome. My machine is square. I'm happy. Life is good. So that is a way that you can use, um, again, the pen plotter or your spindle to confirm that your machine is actually square before you go on and make cuts that potentially aren't square. So what the tool can do, which is cool, I'll just show you this quick, is if I go into calibrate, I go X, Y squaring, I say ready to start. Um, you know what, I'm going to have to move this back. One second, sorry. I'm not going to draw the lines, but I'm just going to show you really quick what can happen. So I got the machine moved. I'm going to say, yep, I marked point one. Um, I'm going to say move the 100. Mark point two. Move Y 100. Mark point three. Go to next. So if I was measuring, and let's say I moved it 100, but I only got uh, 80, right? I complete that. And then here I say I moved it and I got 95. Okay, so again, I didn't, but, you know, let's say I did. And then here, uh, let's say I got, you know, 125. So if I complete that and go next, what it's going to say is your machine is pretty uh, squared, but if you still want to have it fully squared, move either the right axis rail backwards 1.25 or the left rail forward by 1.25 mils. Um, so essentially what this does is tells you how far out of square your Y rail is and how far you need to move it, which I think is pretty cool. The other thing it can do is update your steps per millimeter uh, rate as part of this wizard. So if I wanted to, I could say update machine settings and it's going to tell me that my new values for my X steps should be this new value and the Y steps would be that value. In this case, because I was just playing with it, I'm going to cancel and not do that. And I'm going to exit the calibration tool. But that's how you can use the G Center um, XY squaring calibration tool to just confirm that when you go to cut, you're getting the cuts you want. And I think that's pretty darn cool. So awesome. Thanks for your time.